hearts, the American people, on simply failing to act and vote. Described here are two bold but simple job acts that, if used with tax plans like that of Herman Cain's 999, could save America and get us on a road to recovery and prosperity again. The American people and the world have lost faith in the Obama administration, Congress, and are beginning to lose hope in the presidential candidates. But all could save fate for the historical record if they start working to incorporate these bold actions I am now going to describe. Here is Action 1, Illegal Immigration. The Obama administration and the Republican Party candidates are avoiding the issue on how they would confront illegal immigration a concern of 50% of Americans. All except Governor Perry want to build a fence across four states, almost 2,000 miles long, costing us and the next generation American taxpayer over $10 billion to build, and even more to maintain. Any electronic gate, fence, or wall could easily be compromised by climbing over, under, or around, not solving a single problem and maybe even creating some new ones. Now, wouldn't it make more sense to address this issue by simply giving local law enforcement the jurisdiction to question the citizenship of any individual just like they already do to American citizens during traffic stops when asking for their driver's license and proof of insurance? Local law enforcement could then forward offenders to Holam Security and issue heavy citations and fines to the employers of these illegals, thereby not costing American taxpayers anything and help in opening up more jobs for American citizens and generating some revenue for city, state, and federal governments. This jurisdiction could be frozen or underpoliced after the unemployment rate comes down for that state to a substantial level for a considered period of time, and quickly reinstated if the unemployment rate starts to rise. Companies could be given 30 to 90 days public notice before enforcement, allowing them time to recruit legal replacements. This action must include a repeal, a removal of the present law that encourages illegal immigration by giving children of illegal immigrants born here automatic citizenship. Our economy, although very weak and still in decline, has enough substantial jobs and existing infrastructure that if, that if stimulated with consistent, unified, bold actions like this, and the one I will describe, will help us get back to a growing, thriving economy and save this great nation, and eventually help improving the world's economy. Now here's the section action, the second one. Action two. 32 hour share program. A temporary law giving 30 to 60 days notice to all businesses in the U.S that have laid off workers in the past three years to limit present 40-hour employees in those same positions to a 32-hour week and call back one laid-off worker, earliest 99 or two latest, for every four full-time workers, thereby almost immediately bringing back one employed worker for every four presently working 40 hours, giving all employees a 32-hour work week. As the economy improves, employers at their discretion could gradually move employees to a full-time position prior to hiring, hiring any new employees. This would help people off government compensation and provide income for those who have been cut off from government benefits like 99ers. Also, help in fueling the economy with more part-time workers that would purchase goods and services while engaging in employment. They, of course, need things like work apparel, tools, office supplies, auto repair, lunch, and even a little recreation. But this Action 2 must be in initiated along with Action 1 and with an aggressive tax plan for it to be truly successful. Yes, this is a bold action. And yes, things are that bad and will get worse for us all very soon if we don't work together and act swiftly. I encourage and welcome all economic experts in comparing this jobs plan to others and publicly comment on how they believe it would improve the economy. Please be a patriot and help save America now by form signing the petition below or access the form by clicking the sign petition link at IamAPatriot.org.
please refer the site via text, email, Facebook, Twitter, or phone to all your friends, family, and coworkers. Also, please support our national Walkie Streetathon on January 1st, 